so I just finished editing the video and uh, <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing this to myself that board was like so fucking dangerous I mean like super dangerous because such a huge power on such a small um, uh, deck base oh shit you, you have to try it it's not something when you feel comfortable especially um, because when you when you're going like full throttle the wheels spinning <laughs> they, they they go spin like crazy yeah I I, I ended up uh, disassemble everything and I will probably put that power train which I cleaned up and changed the motor to like another longboard or something I don't know but yeah for me for me it's a no <laughs> it's not working so if you're going for like a small um, a small board just go for hub motors or something which doesn't have that power yeah that's my advice so what's gonna what's, what's gonna be the next project i um, the next month i will i will be probably doing a hero hero deck uh, with the new boosted enclosure which can handle like um 12 s uh, 5 p uh 21 700 and i will be doing that board for one guy here in italy it's gonna be a cool board trust me and um we probably use the 6100 again and the next one uh, which is gonna come soon probably i don't know i have to get the deck first it's gonna be like a race board um a 44 red amber deck with um, three links from uh, uh stodge race board 155 from metro board uh, the summit, why the why the Trump hubs with the 3D printed uh, spacer, and I will start with a belt uh, with a belt transmission. I might switch to the straight cut uh, uh, gear, and then uh, we I want to try this first, then maybe switch. So, also uh, I will be using another type of motor, which uh, a lot of company tested. They are not out yet and uh, luckily I find the seller in the, um, in the Chinese uh, market, web market and uh, those motors are 63.85 and they can handle up to 130 amps they are like 7000 uh, watt each big power of course and uh, I will be putting those motors here since uh, uh, 63100 uh, will not fit, those one will definitely fit. I might have to print a spacer uh, to because it has like a strange, uh, I don't know how I can explain it, it has like a strange cutoff. Uh, it's okay, I will be adjust it, I will, I will adjust it for sure. And also what else, uh, this one is gonna be super fucking cool, super fucking fantastic huge battery here too. The thing is, uh, uh, red embers deck are really hard to get. Uh, um, so, we see. We will see when um, Jeremy is gonna make me one. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, uh, this one was like a short, uh, small one, just for fun, you know. Always trying new things, um, to experiment and stuff. So the next one, I promise you, is gonna be a, a big project. Uh, uh, I also want to introduce something cooler. Uh, on this board, I will be do I will be doing the grip with um, uh, the piercing, the kind of like uh, arrow piercing. I will cut it in half and uh, put it uh, put just the spike up. So I will make like a grip with spikes. Super cool, super stealthy. Uh, not like the regular grip tape, but something like really grippy and um, cool looking too. And um, you will see, this board is gonna be fucking fantastic. Alright guys, see you, and uh, have a good one, cheers!